Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, let's get ready to rumble! Hello everyone, welcome. We are at the UIC Pavilion tonight. This is TNA Wrestling. This is our first taping of Explosion. And tonight, things are going to be taking a turn towards the Bound for Glory. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got some new storylines starting tonight. And one of the bigger ones will not be starting until the second set of tapings of the month. But we'll get into all that in episode number 8. Jeez, one seven already. Yes, um, I haven't been on this for a while, but here we go. So Tony, if Shawnee's Ben, Paul, Paul Heyman and Don West are all here tonight on Explosion to call the action for you on your sci-fi. And if you're in the UK, welcome along to Bravo. But yeah, obviously, you're not. You're on YouTube. <laughs> but there we are. <laughs> there you go. I've got the missus giggling, that's good. So welcome back to Explosion after the huge events at Lockdown TNA struggling. So tonight we start the Bound for Glory series. The winner gets three points, no points for a draw. All eight competitors will face off against each other once on Explosion or Impact Wrestling. Tonight, Abyss will take on Joe in the first round match. Paul, look, no matter who is who is in this stupid tournament, I can tell you now, Brock Lesnar will win it all. And then Don gets good. Don's just like, don't get cocky. I've got my money on this to win the whole thing. Or maybe more Monty Brown. Of course, Monty Brown has been on a bit of a winning streak since coming in to the company. So, as you heard there, Abyss versus, um, Abyss versus Samoa Joe is this coming week. We also got an Impact Wrestling. Brock Lesnar versus The Rock in the main event. That'll be our first round match. And then we also got Sting, Kurt Angle versus Monty Brown and Rob Van Dam. Of course, AJ Styles will not be in the tournament because... Oh, it won't let me look at my tournaments. Eh, yeah, that's a bit of a bugger, isn't it? But yes, yeah, so I can actually show you in the storyline. Um, storyline, because I've set up a storyline. So you've got Abyss, Brock Lesnar, Kurt Angle, Monty Brown, Rob Van Dam, Samoa Joe, Sting, and The Rock. And that is kind of where we're going with this. So tonight on the Inspector, you've got Monty Brown and Monty Brown versus an RVD take on Sting and Angle. Lesnar versus Rock. Um, I'm not going to do it. We're not going to um, do a match every single week on Impact Wrestling. So there'll be one match, one first round match per taping until we start getting a bit closer to some anniversary where we need to start crowning our winner. Because I don't want to kind of eat up the entirety. But this week, you know, we're starting afresh. We've got Explosion's got a new, brand new logo. It's just called Explosion now. It's not called TNA Explosion. And also, we've got Impact Wrestling <laughs> after the set got destroyed um, last week. <laughs> We totally destroyed the set, didn't we? But anyway, let's go on with our opening contest tonight, which gets a 52. Nice match. But in a poor match, Generation Me defeated the Briscoes at 51 and Jeremy Book pinned Jay Briscoe with more bang for your book. Um, Mark Briscoe 54, Jay Briscoe 52, Jeremy Book got a 42, Max Book got a 45. Colour Comptra gave the match a boost of 52. Still quite young at this time. Still starting out. I'm getting covered in antiseptic cream because the book. Can you put that somewhere safe, dear? Because it's leaking everywhere. Quite literally, my hands are covered in the stuff. 52. Beautiful. Um, in a terrible match, Dre and I defeat Taylor Wilde in 745 by Pinfall. The crowd was, yeah, well, we knew about um, outside of pre-shows. We don't care. Uh, Sere and I, 46. Taylor Wilde, 34. As I say, we are, we ain't got a tag match on tonight, so I thought I'd get away with putting Taylor Wilde in a singles match. And I'm trying to push Sere and I so that she can become a bit more recognisable rather than being this an important woman. Because, as I say, she's from much. And then we've got Borash backstage. And Borash is like, tonight's main event in the, is the first round in the Bound for Glory series. And joining me now, the man. Well, not the first round, but, you know, one of the first matches in the tournament. Joining me now, the man. A lot of fans have got down to win the whole tournament. The Monster Abyss. And Abyss like, look, Borash. I am a monster. And I've heard people talking about I'm the child of Mankind and Kane if they had a baby. How to the no, I am not a copycat, I am my own monster. And tonight I'm going to prove why AJ should be running scared. And that gets a 52. We have got a special guest here tonight, actually, appearing on the show. In a poor match, Alagero defeat Drago, Al Generico and Delaris in 8-15 when Alagero pinned Drago. Uh, Delaris carried the match to his ring performance. Alagero 42, Drago 39, Al Generico 43. Delaris 58, Alagero is getting better, and Delaris is getting better. The gimmicks are 51. Nice little match there. In an extremely short match, Rhino defeated the debuting John Moxley in 433 by pin for the pile driver. We've got quite a big WWE star coming over and facing AJ Styles in the next few weeks. But yeah, as I say, he's not going to be on these tapings. It won't be until the next tapings. But we'll stop the storyline tonight. 
Not an issue. Uh, Rhino 55, jo John Moxley got 37, as I say. Very young John Moxley. This is before Dean Ambrose and AEW. Of course, we're in 2010 now, so before you can get signed to the development deal and becomes Dean Ambrose. But I guess a nice 40. And that leads us into tonight's main event as Abyss takes on the man known as Samoa Joe. <sighs> And in about a great heat and good wrestling, the Monster Abyss defeated Samoa Joe in 1449 by Pin of the Torture Upbreaker. This match was a part of the Bound for Glory Series tournament. Yeah, Samoa Joe 70, Abyss 69. It got a 66. Not bad. Let's click on the next segment. So after the match, Abyss is celebrating his victory in the ring. He's like, yes, I've just beat him. When out of the blue comes Brock Lesnar. And basically, Brock Lesnar just runs into the ring and attacks, beating Abyss down into the mat. Now, no, as you saw, Brock Lesnar will be facing The Rock on tonight's tapings of TNA Impact. We've got another explosion to do before we get to the Impact Wrestling. But as I'm doing it, the next person down the list will have Abyss to face is Brock Lesnar. The Rock will be facing Samoa Joe, so it be quite interesting. But there we go. We finish the show with a nice 73 segment. I think that was the best segment on the whole show. Gave it a 62C. Really should have been a better main event. Uh, overall, the show lost its popularity, but increased popularity in six. So that'll be the UK and the entirety of America. It just went, yes, yeah, sod it. That was shit show, Josh. <laughs> Basically, the Britain went, oh, we like that. Yeah. But America went, oh, fuck it. It was crap. But I thought it was quite a good show, and I'm really excited about the Bound for Glory. Let's finish the show a minute. Let's go to hit all those bit of picture of Dutch Hatford. So, yeah, that was the taping we've just done. Do, do, do. That's what we've. Abyss for. Yeah, see, we put Abyss in the main event a few times. Um, that explosion was a better one because I had AJ Styles and Brock Lesnar in the main event. But if we go on to the bag. And click tournaments, you can see now. So, this is how we're doing it. Abyss is just stuck on Samoa Joe. So Abyss jumps over Samoa Joe and he'll face Brock Lesnar next. So he's now got three points. As you can see, Joe got a loss there. So he will jump over. So Abyss jumps over the Brock Lesnar and he'll face the Rock. Joe will jump over. Um, Abyss jumps over Joe and faces Brock. And then Joe jumps over Brock and faces the Rock. We all have Joe versus Brock. But then what Joe will do is face Angle, RVD, Sting, Monty Brown before facing Brock Lesnar. That's going to be one of the big final matches and Abyss will face Monty Brown in the last match. And yeah, I think it's going to be a good series. I think it's going to help a lot of the wrestlers come up for it. But as I say, one of the wrestlers is not available. Um, and obviously AJ is going to be kicking up a fuss about that on Impact Wrestling, but we'll see you for another edition of Impact um, Explosion, where I will be booking Abyss versus Brock Lesnar. It's going to happen on this show. We'll see you for that in just a bit. So these are a bit easier to record than, um, or set up than rec and record than the bigger shows Impact Wrestling, but I enjoy them. So let's go on with it. This is our second Explosion taping, so we're going to hear from Tony. After last week, two weeks before it was meant to happen, tonight Brock Lesnar versus Abyss inside the steel cage. Paul's like, teenage management is stupid. They really need to stop putting Brock inside a cage, steel cage, but tonight Abyss will lose. I thought I shut up, you idiot. Abyss beat Joe last week, and tonight he'll beat Brock, and it'll be Brock's first loss in TNA. But I'm not going to mention that because I don't really know if Brock Lesnar's going to beat The Rock yet. But our opening match in a tail match, the Scottish Fire defeated Nikki Storm and Kong and Hamada instead of what when Nikki Storm pinned Hamada. Katie Ray 39, Nikki 36, Hamada 38, Olsen Kong 39. Yeah, not bad. Uh, could have been better, but yeah, 40. Nice for this guy to try to get a win. In a terrible match, Kevin Steen defeated Elgin Eric Young in 817, but in the package bar draw. Eric Young 40, Kevin Steen 39. 31. And then Paul's like, listen up. Tonight, Steel Cage, as I said on commentary, I'm going to let, let my beast loose. And Abyss will fall. This is Brock Lesnar's Bound for Glory series to win. And I guess 74. And then in the path of good heat and decent wrestling, Mr. Anderson defeated Jeff Jarrett in 736 by pin with a green at bay at plunge. Jeff Jarrett 58, Mr. Anderson 62, got a 63C. And in a decent match, Austin Aries defeated Calisto, oh, Calisto in 825 by Pinfoil using the ropes for leverage. Uh, Calisto 37, Austin Aries 45, got a 56. And the video plays open up the main event of the evening. And in about fantastic heat and decent wrestling, Abyss defeated Brock Lesnar in a 1v1 cage classic. Um, uh, 1520 by Pin of the Torture Up Backbreaker. Um, in about that fantastic heat and great decent wrestling, but these two don't click. Um, Brock Lesnar's got a 73, Abyss got a 55 because they don't click, and only got us a 54. So this show's going to shock. 
Yeah. As again, we've increased popularity in six regions in um, in Britain, but the entirety of America we've lost again. Let's hope Impact Wrestling can kind of change that in a way. So I'll see you guys for Impact Wrestling this coming week. It'll be a fun one. We'll see you for that very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just got a segment rating of 90. Holy crap, AJ and Kurt Hulk Hogan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Impact Wrestling. This is a team. Um, welcome to Impact Wrestling. Of course, this is TNA in 2010. We've just had two really shitty explosion tapings. The Bound for Glory series is hotting up now. I'm going to book these matches in next week on Impact because of what happened on Explosion this past week on the tapings. Next week on Impact Wrestling, you're going to get to see the next two first round matches. The first one will be Monty Brown um, and his pounce taken on the icon Sting. That's going to be the, one of the first round matches on next week's Impact Wrestling TV tape. And I'm not going to put too much time on that. Also next week, which you'll find out later on in the interview. But yes, we're going to book it in now because otherwise the rest of the show will not make sense. It's going to be Kurt Angle and it's going to be Rob Van Dam. They're both going to happen on next week on Impact. Then the next set of tapings, we're not going to do anything to do with the Bound for Glory series apart from a couple of eight-man tag matches between teams. Between all the parties. But yeah. So we get a recap of last week. Then we get picks of the pa of this past weekend. Of Hogan turn heel on Angle. After this we've got the today we see a brand new stage. Which looks like a cross between you know the Raw set they had on, when they were on Spike in 2002. And the Roy's War set. But Hogan and AJ come out to huge booze as AJ's music. AJ has a mic. So this gets a 90 rated segment. Holy shit. Might just put these two on from now on. And AJ's like, so have TNA forgotten about the five more pay views coming up? And started this stupid Bound for Glory series to see who will, who, will, who will face the champion at Bound for Glory. You see, we had this sorted and now TNA have messed up. I don't care if it's Joe, Abyss, Brock, how Kurt Angle again. No matter who you put in this ring opposite me, we'll lose. So I want to know who's going to face me at Destination X next week. And then he just drops the mic and basically, just, it's a very quick promo, but he leaves the ring. He's like, yeah. And then we, when we come back from break, we see Ted DiBiase and Dixie in there in a big office, sharing the office, of course, they're working together. Gets a 49, not the best. And Ted's like, so to destroy the Impact set, and now we've got a new show, and now AJ's demanding for his opponent at Destination X. And, and Dixie's like, oh, look, I have a plan. There's this guy. And the WWE's contract's coming up, and I think it's going to be the best guy to face AJ. And Ted's like, you're on. And then, for some reason, oh, there he is. Oh, my God. Someone in WWE's coming for AJ. And up next, the x Division champion, Kendrick, is in action. I forgot to do a promo for this. We'll do it next week. In a decent match, Kazarian defeated Brian Kendrick in 7.55 by... By the pin for the bicycle click. Uh, Kazarian 51, Brian Kendrick 53, got 56. Kazarian has pinned the TNA X Division champion on Impact Wrestling for no in a non title match. So the question is what will happen next week? And of course, we have Jim Ross on commentary. Um, yeah, because front up 56, not bad. Well, this did shit, didn't it? It's only got a 19. Mm. So, in a terrible match, Levi Bates and the Blossom Twins defeat the beautiful people of Sky, Angelina Love and Madison Rain. Uh, when Madison Rain intentionally got counted out while fighting Levi Bates. Um, yeah, he only got 19. Ouch. So, yeah, Levi Bates 31, Hannah Blossom 26, Holly Blossom 29, Madison Rain 33, Angelina Love 28, and Velvet Sky 32. Mm. The angle afterwards got a better rating and got a 36. And Levi's like, so you want to get yourself intentionally counted out. It's not going to slide. Teddy's here tonight and we're going to office because all three of us are coming for your goal and it's going to be great when we get off you once for all. And ladies and gentlemen, it has been confirmed at Destination X. Um, yeah, we have victory road. I, I forgot we. I was trying to work it out. So at Destination X in two, mom, in, um, two months' time? No. Uh, Destination X in a month's time, my friends. TNA Wrestling have confirmed that it will be the beautiful people facing the Blossom Twins. The fans have demanded it, and everybody wants it. So Hannah and Holly Blossom will face Angelina Love and a Velvet Sky. There we go. That's that set. Bloop. I'm just going to put the time down a bit for now. Yeah, oh yeah, for the knockouts titles, because it helps get the... 
don't know why I can do all this. Stop it. Pretty book. Thank you. And we've also now been told by management after during this show, during a few more, the next match, really, but we'll get it booked in now. It will be Levi... It would help if I looked at females. It will be Levi Bates taking on Madison Rain for the Knockouts title as well on the show. So that will be for the TNA Knockouts Championship. There you go, my friends. That's all booked in. Get to 36. Not a bad angle. I've still got another show to book yet. In a decent match, Lethal Consequences defeat Kings of Wrestling, Inking and Most of Machine Guns in 823. Inking got eliminated first, and the Most of Machine Guns are finally Kings of Wrestling. Justin Hill's a weak link. Uh, Creed got a 49, Lethal got a 57, Claudio got a 56, Hero got a 57, Shannon Moore 51, Jesse got 23, Sabre 56, and Alex Shelley 54. Got a 55, not bad. And then we see a dark locker room. With four lights on, we see Juice and Liger making his return. Eddie and Davey and Brian. With Brian. All sat, just sat there with these spotlights on him. And Brian's like, since Quinty TNA from WWE, I have been overlooked. Now I see that men are making the most. Now I see that the men making the most on this roster are not respectful of the belts. Look at this group. You've got me, the best techno wrestler in the world. And Desmond Wolf. Is my target. Then you've got the walls where Eddie and Brian are one of the best, if not the best, tag team in the world. And that means Doug and Magnus, they're coming for you. Then there is Liger. The best wrestler in the world. And Rob Terry, he's picked you. You see, we're not doing this for the money. The titles, the titles bring. We're doing it for the fans who deserve a deserves great champions. We are demolition and we are power. And we are next. So 42D, Brian Danielson's the leader of Demolition. But yeah, you've got this nice little group coming on and they're like, let's make a stable. Let's go after the British Invasion full on. And that's a 42, beautiful. And in a decent match, Demolition, Juice from the Liger, Eddie Edwards, Dave Richards, Brian Danielson defeated Matt Morgan, Orlando Jordan, Raven and Stevie, and Draven and Stevie. In 825, and Juice from the Liger to pin Raven with a Liger suplex. Brian Danielson 69, Eddie Edwards 61, Eddie Edwards 52, Liger got 43, Orlando Jordan 49, Steve 51, Raven 37, and Matt Morgan 52. Got 59, not bad. In about a decent match of covers, Subpar Wrestling, Dean Daniels defeated John Moxley in 621 by pin for the best BME, best moonsault ever. Daniels 57, Moxley 37, and 52. In about good heating, decent wrestling, Booker T defeat Jeff Jarrett in 6.15 by putting the axe kick. Uh, Booker T 64, Jeff Jarrett 58, 64, not bad. And then Abyss is not on screen for some reason, but he's meant to be. And Abyss is like, this is my battle for glory series to win. On Explosion Live, I will face Samoa Joe and I'll win this battle once and for all. You see, I'm not going to lose. Lee's not going to lose. And Brock Lesnar, after I'm done with you. After with you, with after I'm done with Joe, and I'm going to help Rock beat you because you're not unbeatable. I am, and I forgot to do that. So, oops. Let's book. Let's just return to the booking screen a minute. Uh, Rock to be the victor. I forgot to because this is all going to lead into what happens on Explosion next week because he kind of comes out and attacks as you know Abyss this week. So the reason for that is Abyss help gives Brock Lesnar. Should be distracted by Abyss. So that's kind of what I was meant to book. And I forgot. So back. Continue the show. So in about a subpar wrestling. A little heat. Mikey Whiplash defeated Tyler Black in 605 by Pinfall. Uh, Tyler Black had a room for 52. Mikey Whiplash 33. Um, Mikey Whiplash was debut. These are cult gimmicks. Guys from the rating of poor. That's fine. And as I said, I wanted him on the roster. And I've got him. So yay me. And I will be pushing him to the moon. And making him a megastar. This got a 70, which is not bad. So we see Mortal, Mortal in our locker room, and Eric is talking. You've also got you got Rob, Jimmy, Rick, Hogan, Eric, Jeff, Matt, RVD. We need to be on our toes. Dixie's got someone out of WWE coming to face AJ. Great. Rob, next week, you need to beat Angle, okay? You need to win this whole series. Now get out of there and show us why you're the best with Monty. So we've got a 70, and we're going to lead into another match here tonight, which got a 73. In a good match, Monty Brown and RVD defeat Sting and Kurt Angle in 15-20, where Monty Brown pinned Kurt Angle with a pounce. Uh, Kurt Angle 85, Sting 54, RVD 75, Monty Brown got a 46, got a 73. Not bad, actually. Nice little match. And your main event of the evening will be Brock Lesnar taking on 
The Rock. Because why not? Let's give this away for free. In an exceptional match, The Rock defeated Brock Lesnar in 25-29 by pinfall the people's elbow after a distraction from Abyss. Brock Lesnar 80, uh, The Rock 88. Um, yeah, the Battle for Glory still has advanced the segment and gained heat. Paul Heyman did some good work at ringside. Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman have great chemistry. Got 79. That is how we finished tonight's show. She increased our popularity in all 23 regions with 77. Beautiful show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, next week we'll find out. Will we find out who AJ is going to be facing? I can tell you now, you won't, but there will be a big angle for it the following week on Impact, which will close out the show. I've got big plans for this person, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. But next week, you've got two Bound for Glory series matches. So join me when I've booked that show and I record it for you. 4,959 people are here tonight to join us for our second and final taping of this episode of Impact Wrestling. Oh, yeah. So we see a recap from last week's show, which you guys have just watched. Um, we see the... Um, there we go. We see the, um, which shows the main event and the Battle of Series matches. And we cut to the venue, we show the fans and Jim, Mike and Taz are calling the action. And Jim's like... After what happened this past week on Explosion tonight, we'll see two Battle for Glory matches, series matches. Also, The Rock will be partners this week and will take on Abyss and Joe in the opening match. Right, this past week on Explosion tonight, we'll see um, this past week. Uh, Taz is like, look, age has got no challenges for his title. Tonight we might find out. Right, so look, this week on Explosion is a steel cage match. But tonight there is tag action. Next, Rock will face, will face Joe. Next, The Rock will face Joe. Let's get this show started off with a massive impact. So, in an exceptional match, The Rock and Brock Lesnar defeat Abyss and Samoa Joe in 10-26 when The Rock pinned Abyss with a rock bottom. Uh, Brock Lesnar 87, The Rock 88, Samoa Joe 78, Abyss got a 69. Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman have great chemistry, uh, 79B to open up the night. In about decent match of Subpar Wrestling, the British Invasion, Desmond Wolf, Doug Williams, Magnus and Rob Tay defeat Mick Foley, John Moxley, Tyler Black and Rich 1 and 740 when Desmond Wolf pinned John Moxley. Rob Tay 24, Magnus 48, uh, Doug 51, Desmond 63, Rich 1 56, Tyler Black 55, Moxley 35 and Mick Foley 62. After the match, though, after the match, Doug grabs the mic off JB and he looks in just straight hard down into the camera and does like, look here, Demolition. You laid out your plan, so let's put this effect. Shall we put this into effect, shall we? You see, we got this planned out. This planned out. And you and you're gonna be laid out. Who you and you you got this planned and you laid out who you want to face. You got it, boys, but be careful what you wish for. I freaked that up big time. So, ladies and gentlemen, Destination X is hotting up at the moment. We still don't know who's going to be facing AJ just yet, but we do now know some of the matches which are going to be going ahead um, from that, and that is going to be Demolition. And I'm really excited for this show. I mean, this show is going to be a good one. I'm going to get to see Doug Williams and Magnus teaming up against Eddie Edwards and Davey Richards, a match I've wanted to do since bringing the Wolves into the company a lot earlier than they actually did sign with the company because, hey, this is my company. Um, we'll give them, we're going to give them about 11 minutes for now. Um, they'll probably get changed on the actual show. But yeah, so World Tag Team title match, they got that booked in. Um, our most green wrestler, and I can't believe I'm saying that because we've got my school and, um, who else we got? My school and, um, Haskins, which I got a lovely Mark Haskins t-shirt from WrestleQuake this month, just today when I'm recording, actually. Two t-shirts in this month's WrestleQuake. It's brilliant. But yeah, so yeah, um, anyway, let's get back on track. Juice from the Liger will be facing uh, Rob Terry, so that will be happening. And he's considered unimportant, but he's getting up there. And hopefully as he improves, he'll be better. But yes, Rob Terry will be defending the TNA Intercontinental, not global title. And I did agree with what... If you ever watched um, any of the 83 weeks with TNA, I think mean, it's TNA Sacrifice 2010 where he mentions about the global title and it makes no sense, and I do agree with him. And then the one match I'm actually really excited for, and I think it's going to be an amazing match from both sides of the party, is going to be Desmond Wolf, who... Look at his popularity. Look at... Popularity, not his popularity. Look at all his in-ring stuff. Going up against someone who's got very similar stats, and I might turn this into a Technol Masterclass, I don't know, but it's going to be amazing to see. And these two guys are going to get a lot of time. I've got to do anything with the fucking Excision title storyline this week. 
Oh, sugar. Uh, so that'll be for the United States title pre-book that. Let's do that. There we go. Right, we're going to head back to the return to the booking screen. I'm going to quickly throw together a ad angle. Going to be a freestyle angle with Kazarian, Jeremy Borash, and about Brian Kendrick. Right, there we go. Uh, Brian Kendrick. Uh, on screen, Brian Kendrick will be on screen. Entertainment. Uh, microphone. Script, script. Auto. Two minutes. Book segment. Right, that's going to cause us issues. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't panic. Don't panic. One, two. Problem solved. Continue show. So, we now head into Ted's office where we see AJ and Ted Biossi Senior. There you go. That's how you quickly do it. I'll do the promo I was going to do for him. I just got to write it out. So, we see Ted working on his laptop and the door burst open and it's AJ and Hogan. AJ's like, you promised me I would know who I'm going to face at Destination X here tonight. And you're telling me I'm not going to know till next week. And there's like, yeah. If you really think you're going to slide... Um, Oh yes, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna tell you next week, AJ. And I'm not gonna say anything till then. And he's like, "You really think this is gonna slide, Ted? You better be careful, brother." And it, with this, he just picks up the laptop, and smashes it on the floor, and Ted looks really pissed at that. And he goes, "Hogan, you're suspended for one month without pay. They'll get out of my office." So, ladies and gentlemen, you can say goodbye to Hulk Hogan for a month. He is gone, brother. He's gonna be having a month off because um, during this time he was in a lot of pain. So I'm giving them a nice break. In a decent match, Sean Morley defeated Orlando Jordan 8 10 by people the Flying Splash. Sean Morley 55, Orlando Jordan 48. 56, thank you, Val Venus. In a terrible match, International Wrecking True and the Dark Arts defeated Kong and Hamada and Sarita and Taylor Wild. In X16, when Rosemary pinned Hamada. Uh, Taylor Wild 38, Sarita 45, Hamada 38, Orson Kong 37, Sue Young 35, Rosemary 43, Jetta 26, and Rain 27. 41, that's not too bad. In a poor match, Eric Young defeated Chris Saban in a 10 by Pimble the Pile Driver. Saban 54, Eric Young 41 and 53. Please be aware, a lot of the round... I need to change Eric Young's picture because I don't like that one. I will be aware now that there is quite a few moments tonight where tag teams are split for single matches. And now we're in the locker room of the beautiful people. And they didn't look happy. And they're like, fine, you girls want a match with us? Fine. But we'll still be the highest paid knockouts on this roster. You see, we're the best knockouts on Impact. And we're going to fly high on top and stay there. So bring it, ladies. Because all three of you need a makeover. And we're going to give it to you at Destination X. I'll go to 39. We'll be interested to see what happens at Destination X. In a good match, AJ Styles v Jay Lethal in 947 by Pim of the Springboard 450 Splash. Lethal got a 57. AJ got an 82. Got a 76. Nice. In about a decent match of crowd with subpar wrestling, Monty Brown pin defeated Sting in 814 by Pim of the Pounce. Uh, Sting 50. Monty Brown 43. Got a 51. And afterwards, um, Jane B's now like, I'm standing here with your winner, Monty Brown. Now, at Destination X, your face rather than damning your next match. What's on your mind? And when he's like, look, tonight, I got my first win with a pounce. And a Destination X is going to be my tag partner from last week. Rob and Dam, you'll get pounced as well. Because I'm going to be facing AJ at Bound for Glory. And I'm going to take him to the Serengeti. I always love Monty Brown, and I really do think he got overlooked. So w there will be Destination um, Bound for Glory series matches at pay-per-views, and I think this one's going to be an interesting one. It's a heel versus heel match. But when you've got a round robin tournament style bracket, you've got to do these matches. But yeah, so Rob and Dan will be facing Monty Brown at that show. There will also be another match happening on that show, another Bound for Glory series match happening at that event. Um which I'll get into in the closing angle of the show. So, yeah, this is then Kazarian. Then we go, then Jay Kazarian comes out after this and after Money Brown's left and he comes out and he's, like, get, he's on the mic and he goes, at Destination X, I should be facing the current reigning, defending X Division champion, Brian Kendrick. Because last week I beat him in fair and square in the middle of that ring. You see, Kendrick, you're not undefeatable, and I'm coming for your gold. So next week, be prepared, because I'm going to get my chance at Destination X, whether it, whether it means whether it means me dying or not. Strong words from Kazarian here tonight at 39. So yes, he wants a shot. He's beat the champion. 
and he's ready to face. So I guess for 39, beautiful. In a terrible match, Mikey Whiplash defeated Consequence Creed in 541 by Pinfall. Consequence Creed 44, Mikey Whiplash 38, 45. Oh, Mikey Riplash is better in ring than Rob Terry. Cheese. Um, next up is your main event of the evening as Kurt Angle will take on the, the phenomenal Rob Van Dam. 61C. In a superb match, Kurt Angle defeated Rob Van Dam in 25-27 by submission of the ankle lock. This match was a part of the above corner series. Got an 84. Nice. Kurt Angle 83, Rob Van Dam 76. Um, got an 84B. And after the match, Sting and Kurt Angle have a heated conversation, but don't come to blows. And that will also be happening. That is the next match for them too. And that will be happening at the pay-per-view known as Destination X. That's when we do our next matches. I might throw one in on next week's tapings on the week prior to lockdown. And if I do throw that one in, it will probably be the Abyss one. Um, it'll probably be Samoa Joe and The Rock, which I will be booking on the, not next week's tapings, because we're going to have a week off, but the week after you will get, so the next episode you'll get to see The Rock versus Samoa Joe on the go-home edition of Impact Wrestling prior to Destination X. But we're going to finish the show there, that looks beautiful, they've got a 79, nice, and increase our popularity in 23 regions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, two shit episodes of Explosion, but two brilliant episodes of Impact Wrestling. And that brings us to an end of this episode. Episode number eight, is it now? Well, let's have a look. Episode, yeah. No, episode seven. So episode eight's the next episode. And I'm going to get on to recording that in a few clicks. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you again real soon.